Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on the Civic SI. So what we need to fix is the only eyesore left on this car. We just did this um, windshield garnish. And yeah, the only thing really bothering me are all these white clips. So since it is super expensive to get these and really hard to get them because they're pretty much discontinued from most websites, or you can't get both of them, you need to get them from either the junkyard or eBay or something like that. But we don't have that. So I asked people how they fix it. And what they all said was to spend $10 on some Lowe's stuff. So they sent me the link. I'll go post it up right here. And we'll go head to Lowe's. Let's get it. We found it. This is it. MD Black Garage. Door seal. It's a little bag like this. This one's already open. Don't know why. We'll grab one that's closed. Can't trust nobody. Let's head back home. Yo, it is so windy out here. It look good. Civic look good. Damn! All right. I'm in my car. Dang. All right, so we are back in the house, guys. We are going to go knock this thing out. Oh, man, it's going to look good. Hopefully. I don't know. They made it sound easier than it might be. I'm going to go ahead and try and shove it in there. But we got the garage door seal. And we're just going to go cut some, try to shove it in there, and figure out, get an idea how this works. So let's get it. We got this whole diffuser over here. So we need to move that. Is that enough room? Maybe. Or just move it to the side for now. So it comes with a lot because this is for a garage. Should probably actually do this on my garage, but let's see what we're talking about. So I'm gonna go cut off a little bit of this guy. Really easy to cut. All right, and then I'm gonna go see how this sits in there. So both sides are pretty jacked up. So let's see. All right, so that guy literally just shoves up in there. Okay. It is basically this whole thing, and then it gets skinnier as it goes up to the top. About half an inch. I'm gonna go cut the slim section off because that looks like what belongs there. All right, so it's right up to here. Let me go measure this out real quick. All right, so 35 inches. There. It gradually gets slimmer up top, so I want this to be the outside, so we're just gonna shove it in there from here. So at this part, I made it really easy by just pushing the razor blade straight into my table, and then I pulled the gasket out while guiding it. Cool. All right, and that made it super easy. Let's go trim this part off. That way the top is actually nice. All right, let's go see what we're working with. It actually looks pretty good. You definitely can't tell. It gets a little loose in this section and then we need more up here. So that's what it used to look like. This is what it looks like now. Is this $10 fix better than 130? 1000%. So I'm just gonna go cut about three, six inches in an angle to get this properly shoved in here and my problems will be gone as well as down here. But I want to leave that so we can pull it back out. Does it come back out? Yes, it does fairly easily. We'll keep that about six inches, I said. And we'll cut it like that. There it is. Let's go duplicate it for the other side real fast and then mount it up. To make the other side, we will be using the insert we just made as a template. First, you're going to measure it out and then cut out a piece that is the same length. Flip it over and line it up to the edge of the gasket and lightly score the line that you will be cutting out. Then you just cut it out like you did the other side. Alright. There we go. 
should feel relatively close. Looks a little bit skinnier, but it'll work. All right, so this is the first side. Let's go throw both of these on. So while you guys are doing this install, you guys are going to need to adjust the top and bottom. When you're fitting it in, just take them out and make adjustments as needed. So you'll see me here taking it off and on and trimming it until it fits nice and snug. All right, one is done. Let's go check it out, yo. Okay, so the base cut was pretty simple and it did work, but the bottom was too thick and I had to trim off majority of that. If you guys look in here, I even cut this little lip up here and it kind of sinks right here, but you can't even tell unless you're really trying to scope the car, which you shouldn't because, you know, it's just a regular car, kind of. But boy, look, look, before and after. Before and after. Everybody needs to do this on their car, all right? That's what I'm naming this video because so many agents have this issue. Damn. Just do it already. Let's go throw on this side too. Oh, also what I was cutting on was some hard plastic. So no cuts on the window. Don't even know if it would do anything really bad, but let's go knock out this other side. All right, all right, let's see what it looks like. And if this is an issue on yours, you definitely need to do this. It's so easy, it's super cheap. If you guys are wondering how to do it, that's how you do it. All right, let's check it out up close and personal. Gotta redo that. All right, just kidding. But, dude, if you guys have been lagging on this or didn't know there was a fix to it that was so cheap, highly recommend you guys do it. After doing it, I'm so happy. I'm just. Look, look, the front end of this car looks good. All it needs is a wash now. I'll let you guys know if it flies off in a future video, but right now, you can't complain with the result, man. Even the Evo is kind of funky with these, but it's not as bad, so I ain't complaining, I ain't tripping, but this needs to be done. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Hopefully it uh, gives you guys confidence when you do yours, and... Yeah, if you guys liked it, you guys are gonna do it. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you guys want more. Subscribe if you guys wanna keep up with the content on this car. We got a lot coming. I hope you guys are having a good day. Hope you guys have a good night, whatever time it is. Hope you guys have a good one. I'm tired, kinda of feeling under the weather, so I'll see you guys next time, all right, peace.